Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and exciting news we got from Monster Hunter Rise on the Nintendo Switch. First and foremost, the game is finally out and I'm actually hoping you guys are enjoying it. And to commemorate that, Capcom actually put out a launch trailer celebrating the release of the game. While nothing necessarily revelatory was shown during the basic trailer, showcasing many of the features we've already seen in the game already, the ending provided us with some brand new information that they had not revealed in the past. Although for those of you who are aware of the leaks, this was probably known that it was actually coming. Capcom finally decided to confirm that Apex Rathalos is actually coming to the game as part of the version 2.0 free title update that's set to release by the end of April. This now confirms two monsters coming on that same day, Camellios which they had revealed in the last official trailer and now Apex Rathalos. The interesting bit is that in the details sheet they're still listing as several new monsters options still pending, potentially suggesting that even more monsters are set to be revealed for this late April update. While I won't sit here and speculate or actually rattle off names for the sake of Capcom not nuking this video, it's safe to say that there's a few more surprises in store for those who aren't aware of the leaks. It also suggests something entirely interesting regarding how they're actually handling these sets of updates. You could speculate that they're going to provide a normal hunt monster or two, an apex monster that you can then find specifically in the rampage which we know is massive part of the endgame, and then perhaps something extra for the fans that they've definitely been clamoring for. The other interesting detail is that in the sheet they're now confirming that the subsequent update that is in fact being considered to be version 3.0, and it will include a brand new set of monsters and a brand new ending. As I discussed in the endgame video that I put out a few days ago breaking down just how it actually works, there has been some real discussion regarding the endgame situation and the absence of the real final boss. Not only are there some reviews extremely critical of it, but even players who are finding out about it are definitely skeptical of the move. As I said in the video, I can't really understand their logic behind their decision, other than it was simply not ready due to the delays that we're seeing due to the pandemic. But it's hard to tell for now, and I'm sure that during the interview they will give us more details, but for now, it's kind of pointless to speculate about it. The last little bit that I'll actually mention is that Ryoso Sujimoto and Yasunori Ichinose did appear in a quick video on the official Monster Hunter Twitter account, thanking the fans for purchasing the game and being grateful for the game finally actually being out. They also reiterated that the game will be getting some brand new DLC as I talked about before, but also that Monster Hunter Stories 2 is launching on July 9th worldwide. This gave them a window to briefly remind players that if you have the save data on your system for both games, you will be able to get a neat bonus, but for now we still don't know what that actually might be. Layered armor seems to be the expected route, so it's most likely going to be like that for both games. But yeah, that's actually going to be about it for this quick update. Hopefully you guys are actually enjoying the game and I know I've been having a blast with it the past few days. If it honestly wasn't for Capcom copy striking my most recent leaks video, I'd be more than willing to put up gameplay and discussing more of the leaks. I know that some of you have been hitting me up on Twitter asking me to go into further details specifically about the new wave of data mine information, but I honestly have no intention of getting my content taken down again because of some jealous content creators niching on me with Capcom. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.